talking about, you know, what can we do to help promote um, age reversal in people? And, and so I kind of jotted down a few notes this morning and, 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 you know, I thought we'd talk about it. We'd share it with people and, and uh, help people get back on the right road. What do you think, Andrea? Is, is age reversal something worth right. talking about? Is it something worth talking about? Great idea. Great idea. <laughs> there you go. Great idea. So, you know, folks. That was a little input there from anti-aging. Yeah. And you know, when, when we say anti-aging. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, when we say anti-aging, it probably isn't even the right word to use, is it? <clears throat> Do you know why? No, you've claimed that from the beginning. Yeah. It's probably not even the right word to use because when we say anti-aging, anti means stop, and if we stop aging, that means we're dying. Right? We don't want to die. We don't want to die. We're reversing we're, age, right? It's age reversal. That's exactly it. We're 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 gonna we're gonna reverse the aging, and that really does make sense. So, you know, Andrea. Um, I just was kind of jotting a few things down here. Uh, let me move this out of the way, move my microphone over to the side. You know, I think a lot of people um, expect me to jump online and start talking about products right away. And oh. I really I really can't do that. I really can't do that. I, I just don't feel that it's right. I mean, why would I tell you to spend even a dollar on products? Right if I haven't convinced you to change your lifestyle. Right. You know, because I think that's more important than, than it is than it is talking about, about products. You know, the, the most important thing like you and I talked about this, smoke, this morning, quitting smoking cigarettes. Right. <laughs> right? I mean, if you can't quit smoking cigarettes, why would you spend – a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, hundred dollars, and why would you spend any money on a product to slow the aging process down? It's kind of doesn't make sense. Well, you're fighting against yourself, basically. You really are. You really are. You're fighting against yourself. You're fighting against the the whole thing, and and so, um, folks, give us a thumbs up. You know, the old smiley face. Give us the heart. You know. Um, let us know that you're there. Tell us where you're from um, and share this. Share it often because that's what gets the word out. And, and, you know, like Andrew and I were talking about when we were coming back from Utah, wouldn't it be nice right now in your life if you picked the friends that you want to get old with? Yeah, that'd be great. Right? I mean, if you could be 90 years old and have the selection of friends in the circle that you want to be with, right? Yeah, that would be fun. It wouldn't be like my grandmother who went to a funeral every week and said, everybody I know is dying. Right? And, and that's what my folks are noticing now. You know, my mom and dad are both right around 80 years old, and both of them are noticing that people are dying, people are getting sick all the time, and... That's not what I want. I treated that 96-year-old over in Wisconsin, and I asked him one time, I said, you know, what really is the worst thing about getting to be 90, 95, 96 years old? And he told me, he said, well, all my friends died. Right. That's what my grandmother used to say. Yeah. And I said to him, I said, you know, I said, uh, well, how, how can, with all the knowledge, because he was really smart on, on age reversal, he actually got started with it back in the 50s he was friends with Jack LaLanne right you remember Jack LaLanne oh yeah I remember him yeah right he was like the the first anti-aging guru right and uh, and and so sure yeah so um Jerry hung around with him and 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 uh you know but none of his friends listened and I, and I said to him one time I said why wouldn't they listen to you and he said, he said, well, yeah, they kind of make fun of me for it. They call me Mr. Antioxidant. That's what they called him. That was back in the 60s. Wow. Right? Mr. Antioxidant back in the 1960s. But, you know, smoking is he really, learned, really. He learned a lot faster than most of it. Yeah. So, 
The next thing that I kind of wrote on my uh, list. Says my is, internet connection is on. Yeah, you're you're. Uh, are you running your Facebook at the same time? Because you're pausing. No, I have lot. it all. Okay, shut off all. All locked up. Okay, well then uh, your yeah. internet is slow. Um, maybe it's the government watching you, but ha <laughs> ha, that's another story. Um, the next thing that I had on my list that, that really can change your life and, and slow the anti-aging or, you know, process down and, and make it so it doesn't work is processed food. All right. Right. It really has no nutritional value whatsoever. Zero nutrition, right. Or, or no. way low. And, 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 what happens then is that in order to get you to eat it, they add chemicals like MSG and things like that, and they add lots of sugars and sweeteners. Um, back 100 years ago, the average person consumed about 12 to 13 pounds of, of sugar a year. Now it's somewhere around 160. Right. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar, and uh, and so you know. Again, I'm not going to sell you any products. I don't think it's a wise choice to go out and spend a ton of money on products if you're not going to make these simple changes. And then, and then the other thing that you and I were discussing this morning, Andrea. <laughs> yep, this thing <laughs> we were discussing this morning was is that lack of exercise is the new smoking problem, isn't it? It is. There's a ton of information on the internet about that. And we've talked about that, like it affects uh, neurogenesis. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I never heard anybody say before that when you don't move, um, it's like blocking up your spinal fluid from moving. I'm pretty sure we want that to move around. Yeah. You know, and um, not just your heart and your lungs. There's so many functions in the body that require movement. That's right. Well, one of the, the I went to that age reversal. I went to what was it? It was the um, oh, the American Academy of Anti Aging Physicians Conference down in Orlando. I went there two years ago, and one of the things that they talked about was that 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 if you're not exercising, if you're not actually tearing down muscle and rebuilding it, your brain starts to think you're dying. So what ends up happening? is that you start going into the decay and the degeneration process. And one of, the one of the primary muscles that's involved with, um, with this brain mechanism or this process are the muscles of chewing. Really? And, yeah, so if you're not chewing your food, right? You like how I do that? That's chewing. Okay. Right? If you're not chewing your food, right, what ends up happening is that your brain thinks that you're dying. And so um, you got to eat nutritiously or you got to eat and then, and then supplement with, with nutrients to get the nutrients. So, so that, again, is, is one of the things. But exercise is so important. And you know, I remember um, 20 years ago, they used to tell us, try and get 20 minutes of exercise every day. Well, first it was half an hour of exercise every day, right? right. Then it was, mm -hmm. then it was, then they couldn't get everybody to exercise, you know, 30 minutes a day. They said, well, let's just do 20 minutes a day. Then pretty soon it was, right. then, then it was, well, why don't we try and get you to do 30 minutes five times a week? Oh, nobody would do that. So then they went 30 minutes three times a week. Now they're saying, well, 20 minutes, three times a week. Can you do that? Well, we hope so. But, you know, you can get it down to four minutes now. <laughs> you can get it down to four minutes. You can do your four-minute workout. You better course, be working out. You have to do it several times a day, but. Right. But, you know, back in the old days, back 100 years ago, you know, people say to me, well, people didn't have to go to the gym 100 years ago. No, because they were cutting wood and feeding animals and hauling rocks. They were, they were walking to school walking. and walking home, walking right. to the store, walking down the drive. Right? Now we drive. I mean, I watch people in my neighborhood over here. I watch these people in my neighborhood. And their little kids are, are driving around on golf carts. Right. 
right? Do you see it in your neighborhood too? I see it in my daughter's woods. <laughs> yeah. Driving around in golf carts and I'm going, wow, we used to walk that. But yeah. anyhow. And so then the next thing I jotted down this morning was reducing your stress. Cutting your stress down. And, 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 That's and a good one. Yeah, because stress causes problems with the adrenal glands. When the adrenal glands get messed up, it causes problems with everything. And we won't get into all right. that because you and I have covered that on previous calls. But, you know, and then we, then we get into toxic products, right? Toxic products. If you're not mm -hmm. reducing your toxic load, the toxic burden on your body, then what good does it do to start buying a bunch of products? Right? Right. Hey. We've talked about that before where we take a nutrient all day long and if you're plugged up with toxins, your cells can't get it in there. That's right. And so you need, to, you need to switch your shampoo. You need to switch your toothpaste. You need to switch a conditioner. You need to switch the laundry detergent. All of these different things because that's where most of your toxins come from. It's not going outside and breathing the air, although, you know, we know that there's stuff in the air, but you can't really change that, right? And you're not going to live in a plastic bubble. So change the things you can change. Wouldn't you agree? Little by little, yes. Continue to do that. Yeah. And, and that's the whole thing is that people, they look at me and they go, oh, man, I couldn't do what you did. I couldn't take and just wham, change everything. But they don't realize that I didn't just go and change everything, right? You want to see that again? Right? What I did is I, I added one little thing, then I added another, then I added another, and I changed this, and I changed that. And gradually over the course of time, I went from being 10% non-toxic to 20% non-toxic to 50% non-toxic to 75% non-toxic, you know? And here I am. Now I'm all of a sudden, you know, I'm. Uh, if you came in my house, you'd be pretty surprised at how many non-toxic products I actually use on a daily basis. That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, and yeah. as we educate people and, and they educate themselves, you know, you can go out there and find all kinds of information on the Internet, and you can just slowly implement all of that into your life. Yep. Yeah. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store, and as I was buying my food, I'm turning the product over. I'm reading the labels, mm -hmm. right? If they were filming me, they'd, they, you know, they'd probably be thinking, what in the heck? Does this guy think he's some kind of scientist or what? <laughs> if they only knew. <laughs> and, and, then, and then finally, I wrote, you got to drink more water. Right. 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 If you're going to refuse to drink water, then why would you spend a ton of money on nutritional products? Right? Right. You know, the first, the first pieces of information I heard about drinking sufficient water was an article, and it said it's like taking an in, internal shower. So I always looked at it that way after that, like, oh, my got to, you know, cleanse things off in there. But it's actually more than that. We're energy beings, and water conduces energy. So you need the water for energy, for all the cell function that goes on. Yeah. So it's really important. One of the things that I started doing here, oh, I guess it was two years ago, I was reading some science, and they actually said that the first thing that you should do in the morning – the first thing that you should consume is a large glass of water, right? Because the brain can actually split. It, it can actually tell your body to split the water into hydrogen and oxygen, and your brain can run on pure hydrogen. Really? Yeah. It's first I heard that. First thing that you should do in the morning is you should drink a glass of water half an hour, 15 minutes to half an hour before you eat anything, before you take any of your product, things like that, because your body will actually, your brain will run on hydrogen, where if you put sugar in, even the tiniest amount of sugar, now you prime mm -hmm. your brain to be a sugar burning machine. Ah, there you go. 
So, folks, you know, I, I think I covered most everything. And, and, you know, give us the thumbs up. Uh, give us the old smiley face. You know, comment on, on what you think. Um, you know, because it's important that, that we, we get that feedback and, and share it with people. And then this will be on a YouTube video that you can share as well. But so now, Andrea, finally, we've spent 20 minutes talking about the things that you should do lifestyle. Guess how much money people have spent so far? more than they normally would spend right Zero. exactly and 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 will that produce results sure it will and the reason mm -hmm. why is that they found that most degenerative diseases are triggered by stress and toxins yes stress and toxins so you know so now let's talk a little bit about products right now and, and we're going to talk about products so one of the things that that i really talk about is that we're not perfect. Well, you're not perfect. I'm perfect. But, you know, most people aren't perfect. And <laughs> you like that, huh? <laughs> but, you know, so most of you aren't perfect. Most of you aren't perfect. And, <laughs> right? And, uh, and so you're going to consume food that doesn't have the right amount of fats and sugars and right and when you don't get the right when you when you eat foods that are too high in carbohydrates you get a byproduct called what too high in carbohydrates um glycation glycated end products right and so when you get glycated end product that's like taking a piece of chicken, rolling it in flour, throwing it in a frying pan full of grease, full of lard, and you bake the flour onto the, onto the chicken or the fish or whatever you're cooking, right? And it gives it that nice golden brown appearance, right? Just like a McDonald's French fry. And, and, and so that's glycation. Yeah, it's icky sticky. Right? So do you want more glycation or less glycation? Less glycation. Less glycation, right? And so the age pill that we came up with, that Tom came up with, what does it do? It removes glycation. Right? And that's all you have to do, right, is, hey, I got the new bottle. Did you see it? No. <laughs> Look at that. Why Pink. is yours different than mine? pink color ah, mine's burgundy yeah this one this oh, one you is, it for the, the week of the pink ribbon yep so it so it promotes and and uh breast cancer awareness month and and but it's actually it's got the new formulation too oh yet another one yep so um it's actually better right and so you want to you want to be taking that because it's going to remove the glycation again folks you know i'm going to try and cover the products in in the order that i think of they're important um somebody else might say they're a different importance but this is kind of my list in the order that i that i thought and then i added to it as i was writing it down this morning so the next product i actually don't have anything to show you it's the uh, super h2 stick Right. We don't have anything to show. <laughs> so here it is, folks. <laughs> Add this to your water, right? Mm -hmm. But what it does is it, it has um, some different metals, uh, minerals, and what it does is it converts the, the water. It, it basically works on a, on a chemical basis, and it, it splits the hydrogen and the oxygen. So you got hydrogen molecules over here. you got oxygen molecules over here. The hydrogen combines and it forms diatomic hydrogen h2 and then over here you have the o2 you know because the oxygen molecules combine and that's how they stabilize so now you have you have uh, diatomic hydrogen water with highly uh, um, ox oxidation right and so you've got a really good healthy water and what they found with the with the hydrogen is is it's a it's one of the best antioxidants known on the planet isn't that cool that's very cool what does it do to hydroxyl free radicals, Andrea? Oh, well, they have these little tails sticking out and they're running around your body. They came in there from toxins and water splitting apart when it shouldn't have things like that. And um, so when you put the hydrogen in there, it locks into those hydroxy free radicals and just turns them into water. Like, poof. Turns it into water. Isn't that just an easy, who couldn't say that? Right? 
right? You know, and it's like people go, oh, you know, in order to get rid of all of the, you got to get all these antioxidants, like eat you know, two bushels of blueberries and, you know, half a dozen apples and all this stuff. And nope, just drink a little glass of water with hydrogen in it and poof, they're all gone. So just imagine in the morning, Andrea, I was talking earlier that if you drink a glass of water, first thing in the morning, your brain uses hydrogen as fuel. Now it's a hydrogen powered machine rather than a sugar powered machine, right? So right. what if your water is hydrogen water? Wow, double whammy. Right? Yeah. Cool, cool beans there. Yeah. And so, so I think that the hydrogen water stick is the next most important <laughs> product after the age bill. You might reverse those two and one might be more important than the other. The next thing that I added on my list is super omega. Super Omega. I have some of that right here. Right? I've got mine right here. Right? And, <laughs> and, and <Yeah>. super, <laughs> super Omega. <laughs> it's not just a look, but it's a sound, right? Right. It, Shake it, baby. <laughs> take your Super Omega. But the Super Omega, because it's got so many health benefits. When you look at the EPA and the DHA, it helps get rid of inflammation. It helps with cardiovascular system. helps with the brain. All these different things helps with the digestive system. You know, at first I wrote my list and I and I thought I was going to put Super Omega down further, and I like no, it's got to be up there. And then the next product that I, I again I superimposed it into my list because I decided that's that important. Folic okay. a, folic acid, not folic acid, folic. Folic, acid. yes. Folic um, acid, right? Because it grabs toxins and pulls them out, and it pushes nutrition in. Yes. Where do we, what product do we find that in? You get it in Body Shield. Body Shield, right? It's in Spectrum Max. It's in Spectrum Max too, but it's in Body Shield. It's more concentrated. And so Body Shield pulls these toxins out of the cells and it pushes nutrition in. Um, fulvic acid is considered to be one of those miracle molecules. Awesome. Yeah. So that's kind of what I threw in as number four. Number five, I threw in TSX. Oh, yes. I have mine right here. Right? And I threw TSX in on the next list, on the next product, because 2009 Nobel Prize was given to Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn and a, and a group of scientists because they found that if you want to slow the burning of the fuse, because your body has a fuse in it that tells you how long you're going to live, if you want to extend that fuse, if you want to add length to it, you have to use the ingredients that are found in TSX. Yeah, they're called telomeres, right? Right? And every and time all, divides, it breaks a little bit off. Yeah, it burns a little bit of the fuse off. And so, so folks, you know, I mean, we're not going to get into all the science on it, but that's a simple way of explaining it to people. And then the next thing that I added to the list was ripped, right? Yep, I'm drinking it right now. Sizzle ripped. And why is sizzle ripped the next most important product? Well, because we talked about earlier that if your body's not building muscle, your brain thinks you're dying. Right. Right. And, if and you what happens to people as they age, they kind of get withered up. They right? lose their muscle. They lose muscle. They say by the time you're, what is it, 60, you've lost 60% of your muscle mass. Right. Right? <laughs> I'm working on getting it back. <laughs> right? And that's the whole thing. And you look at all these fad diets that people are doing. You look at what they've promoted, you know, since, uh, since the 1960s, they promoted a low-fat diet, low-fat, low-fat. Mm -hmm. They get people to eat, quit eating red meat. You know, red meat is one of the most nutritious things that you can eat. It is. Right? I remember, I remember reading some of, um, some of uh, oh, God, I'm trying to think of his name now. But he actually went through and, and – um, uh, Jordan Rubin and Jordan Rubin said that that you know we got everybody eating all this white meat the chicken and the fish and things like that but he said that beef red meat if it's raised right mm -hmm. is one of the most nutritious meats that you can get grass-fed organic no hormones grass-fed green finish right grass-fed green finish that's the key words there but you know, that's why I eat all the wild game that I have. I mean, I was just figuring it out the other day. I've got over 800 pounds of meat in my freezer right now. You might need that. You can help feed the homeless this winter. 
right? No, no way. I got to feed my three boys, my mom and dad, friends of mine, and you know, I'll be out. <laughs> Right. But, um, you know, so so ripped is really important because ripped. What was there? I, I, I heard Thomas, uh, Tom Jr. Jr. Uh, T3, whatever you whoever you want to call him. But basically, he was talking about that. Um, there's seven more studies yeah. that just came out on the ingredients in ripped. 30, 30 studies. 30. Right. That is, yes. 30 studies that we can talk about directly about this product because they were done on this product. Right. There's over $24 million worth of research that was done promoted by the National Institutes of Aging, the National yeah. Institutes of Health. Yes. Helped fund these studies. And what they showed was is that this specific blend of all these little amino acids, mm -hmm. branch chain amino acids, triggers your brain to say, hey, Andrea, build some new muscle today. Right. Just like you went to the gym. And what a great product. What a great product. We won't you get know, into that. I know it works. I had my own experience with it, so I know it works. What did you find out? Well, last year we had two days of solid snow, and the first day went out and shoveled for three hours. It just kept coming and coming, and I kept shoveling. And I had been taking Sizzle Ripped like one pack a day all that time, that, that whole month. And my niece went out that day and shoveled about 45 minutes. She's 20, and I'm 60, I was 63 at the time. And I thought, you know what, I'm not even going to be able to move. Once I go in the house today and sit down, I won't ever get up. Or if I do get to bed, I won't be able to get out of bed in the morning. That would be the expected activity, right? I came in, I had no muscle fatigue, nothing, no recovery from shoveling for three hours. My niece, however, reported to me the next day, she says, oh, I don't know what hit me when I got up this morning. My back hurt, my chest hurt, my arms hurt, everything. I felt like I'd been hit by a Mack truck. And they went, really? And so I was like, wow. So that day, uh, we shoveled another 90 minutes that day. And I gave her sizzle ripped. And this is how quickly it worked. I gave her sizzle ripped, and I asked her the next day, did you have any pain after that day? And she says, none. 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 And I had none. And that was my proof, you know, for me that that amino acid is going and repairing those muscle tears immediately. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. You know, folks, I mean, that wasn't a rehearsed testimonial. I mean, she didn't know she was even going to give it today. That's cool. Right? No, but I love it because it, it just proves the product. Yeah, it really does. And that's, that's the whole thing, you know. And, and folks, bear with us. We're running over time a little bit. I don't want to miss anything, so I'm just going to keep going. And if we run five, ten minutes over, just, just bear with me. You know, um, throw your comments online. Give us the thumbs up. You know, give us the like, things like that. That's the next product we're going to talk about, Andrea, is we're going to talk about the triangle of life. And the first one that I'm actually going to talk about is Spectromax. Of the three, this is probably the most important, right? And a lot of people might say, well, you guys talk about Fucoin so much. Why isn't that the most important? Well, if you had to break it down and you had to pick one, the reason Spectrumax is so important is because Spectrumax has 40 antioxidants. And Andrea, why do we have 40 antioxidants? Because there's 39 levels of antioxidants breaking down. Yeah, so you're breaking down the, the free radicals, removing them out of the body, and you have to have that level of free radicals. Now, our antioxidants, and, and with the Super H2, that might change a little bit, but I still think the Spectrumax is number one. The next one on the list, in my opinion, is I'm going to say is going to be Fucoid, right? My favorite. I could drink this like wine every day, like a couple glasses. <laughs> it really tastes good. And what is so important about Fucoidin is that there's a number of things. Number one is that it, it reduces inflammation, gets rid of inflammation. And every chronic health problem that's involved in your body, there's some form of inflammation that's involved with it. So we look at things like Alzheimer's. 
inflammation, we look at heart disease, inflammation, we look at cancer, inflammation, we look at digestive problems, inflammation. And so Fucoidin helps out with that. That's one of the things that, that I like about Fucoidin. The other thing is, is that Fucoidin has been studied. There was a study that came out April of this year. Just, uh, let's see, that was uh, seven months ago, so about a half right. a year ago, there was a study that came out that said that the, that Fucoidin, the, the extracts from brown seaweed, actually helped to repair the kidneys. That's amazing. Right? Makes sense. And, and so if you can repair the kidneys, according to the um, American Kidney Association or, or, you know, the Kidney Foundation, they say that a high percentage of us have kidney disease and we don't even know that we have right. it. Why do we have kidney disease? Because we eat too damn much sugar. Yeah. Right? I would yeah. say toxins too. Yeah. But sugar is one of the primary things that causes problems with the kidney. So Fucoidin helps with repairing that. And what happens is, is that when, this is really cool stuff, is that when, when the kidneys get damaged, when you start having kidney disease, what they've shown is that the kidneys produce an enzyme that actually destroys stem cells. Oh, yes. We've mentioned that twice. Right? And so if you're eating high-sugar diets and you're not repairing the kidneys and you're having kidney disease and you're destroying the stem cells but you're spending your money on products like Age Pill or you're running out and having stem cell therapy done at a regenerative medicine center, why would you do that? Why would you spend $5,000, $10,000, $12,000 on a procedure and then continue to have high sugar levels and destruction of your kidneys? Right, right. Doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. And, and, and Fucoidin has um, natural uh, anti-angiogenic properties as well, and we know what anti-angiogenesis means. Yeah, why didn't you explain that, Doc? <laughs> you don't remember, do you? No, I do. It's apoptosis. Yeah. So what it does, it cuts off the blood supply to the tumors, right? And we, we're not talking about studies on our product. We can't say that, oh, this study was done on Fucoidin. No, it was done on the extract from brown seaweed. It was done on lima mui, and that's the, that's the ingredients that's in our Fucoidin. And so according to Deshay, we can actually say things like that. As long as we're pointing at the research, we're saying the research says this, and, and our like product has a that. thousand plus yeah. research articles on PubMed about Fucoidin. And, and there's going to be more and more all the time. Because the scientists have actually discovered that, that Fucoidin works on a, on a nano level in your body. So it's really, really cool. Wow. And, and people tell me, oh, yeah, I already take a Fucoidin product. It's cheaper than your product. You get what you pay for, folks. You get hey. what you pay for. You know, we know that um, they tested our Fucoidin in Japan, where they have Fucoidin all the time. Um, word up was that their Fucoidin runs about $800 a month, and our product taste, uh, tested eight times more effective than what they pay for over there. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, for $50 and, a yeah, month. And, and that's Tom. You know, I mean, he has um, intensified it so much with his little special machine he made and everything yeah. so we know we're getting the best probably in the world yeah i would say that we definitely are getting the best so the next product that i want to talk about is the last product in the whole triangle of lifeline can you read that there eternity eternity and what's eternity eternity is resveratrol so resveratrol polyphenol supplement right Mm -hmm. And there's so many studies on resveratrol. Um, Dr. Sinclair did studies on it. We can't mention his name. He didn't do studies on our product. He did studies on resveratrol. And what they found was is that the resveratrol helped with a, a lot of different things. We're not going to get into that, but just all these different things that had to do with anti-aging, including protection of the cardiovascular system. So what happened was is that all of these other scientists – tried to recreate the studies that Dr. Sinclair did, and they came back and they told him, they said, you know, you falsified your work. It's mm -hmm. not, we're not finding the same thing. And, uh, and what, what they found, what Tom found, what uh, researchers found is that 
you have to use a resveratrol that's not exposed to oxygen, it's not exposed to the atmosphere, because when it gets exposed to the oxygen, when it gets exposed to the atmosphere, what ends up happening is that the resveratrol somehow oxidizes and it's not effective. And so when Tom makes this product, when he makes Eternity, he coats each molecule with a, with a uh, liposome, and then he bottles it, and, and it never gets exposed to oxygen, and then he reverse fills the bottle with nitrogen so that there's no way oxygen can get into this bottle until you screw the cap off of it. Cool, huh? Very cool. Yeah, I like yeah. that. And they actually did come back after they, and they, um, they did come back and support um, Dr. David Sinclair and his research after, after they told him he didn't do it, they came back and said he did, so. Yeah, yeah. So folks, you know, we're running about 10 minutes over time, but bear with me. The next one I want to talk about is For Restore. Um, for Restore is so important because what they find is that your body, you have, you have issues um, with, uh, with, with your libido, you have issues with hormones, you have issues with inflammation, you have issues with nitric oxide, and, and it keeps the arteries healthy. And, and what happens is, is that the inside of the arteries, if, if it starts to get hard where, where, um, where the artery won't expand, what ends up happening is that every time your heart pounds, every time your heart beats, right, it puts pressure against those arteries. And if the artery is hard, pretty soon what's going to end up happening to the artery, Andrea? Blow out. It's going to blow out, right? And you're going to have little tiny mini aneurysms, and there's going to be little tiny tears. And uh, it happened to a friend of mine. He had an aneurysm uh, in his eye. Wow. Right? And now he's blind in his right eye. Hmm. Right? Yeah. You don't need that, folks. I mean, you don't need it. So the reason that Tom took and put this together was he was identifying the different ingredients that you can use that, again, we don't have any studies on for Restore. We're not a research laboratory. What we are is we are, we are a research researching laboratory, and then we formulate products based on the research. But the research is done on the individual ingredients and then we put the therapeutic dose in our product. When you look at this and it says, you know, 150%, when it says 3,185 mm -hmm. milligrams in the proprietary blend, you know, why doesn't it say 2,500 milligrams in the proprietary blend? Because they found that this is what you need. This is the therapeutic dose. When Tom puts his products together, that's what he's basing it on. And can you go out and find other products that have um, nitric oxide boosters? Sure you can. Mm -hmm. Can you find other products that, that support human growth hormone? Can you find other products that support libido? Can you? Sure you can. We weren't the first one to come to the market with this stuff. We weren't the first resveratrol product. We weren't the first... Fucoidin product, but we did it one step better than everybody else. Yep. So, Andrea, you know, that's, uh, I, hey, I got one more product that I, I didn't even have on my list, but I want to add it. Can I add another one? Sure. We'll let you do whatever you want. It's your call. Brain vitality. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Definitely. Why does brain vitality have to be on there? For anti-aging. Right. Prevent degeneration in your brain. Because who wants to be 110 years old and not know anything, not remember anything, right? Right? It's called history because it's his story. It's, you know, even though it's history, it should be her story. Her story, right? I mean, if you can't remember and you can't, who wants to grow old not remembering stuff? Not me. Right. So you need brain vitality to go along with everything else. And, and, and folks, you know, I mean, we could talk about renovator. We could talk about inner chi. We could talk about super detox. These are all great products, but Andrea, you know, I know this call is a product call, but why is it important that we, that we have to talk about the sizzle business when we start talking about where we are right now? Where we are right now, the first 48 hours. Right. Why do we, and well, just not necessarily, but this brochure comes when somebody joins, right? Why is it important that 
we talk about building a business. Well, so you can share with friends, family, people you know, the great advantages of the health products, and in doing that, you get money, and that money covers the cost of your products to keep you healthy. Bingo, right? I mean, if you bought every single product, the 10 products that I just went over, you're going to be spending $500 a month. I mean, folks, $6,000 a year. Are you going to do that? Most people won't. No, most people won't. And that's, that's, the, that's the word on the street is most people won't do that. So guess what they buy? Can't even say it. They don't, they, they, they don't, they won't buy anything, right? Oh, okay. Well, right. some of them do, but it doesn't do them any good. Right. Most people don't buy anything because they go, oh man, well, you know, $500 a month. I'm not going to spend $6,000 a year. How do I know it works? That's what they say. How do I know it works? Right. right? I mean, yeah. because they don't know they're going to live 10 years longer. What if they, what if they'll, they'll say, what if I die at the same age I would have died at before? Well, we, we usually have evidence that the products are working. Yeah, that, that's a possibility. It, it creates but, changes. But you, you can't keep doubting the science. You can't keep saying, hey, you know, that science isn't right. That isn't correct. And, and I mean, there's Nobel Prize stuff here. And I know that doesn't mean all, everything in the world because there's people who've gotten Nobel Prize that shouldn't have. But, you know. We won't get into that. Um, but, oh, you know, folks, <laughs> I love doing these calls. Every Tuesday we're on this call, New and Eastern, and we're sharing mm -hmm. with people kind of my thoughts, Andrea's thoughts. And, and you might disagree with me. You know, I noticed somebody that, that when I posted that that um, I was doing this call, she, she's, you know, kind of the, the um, ridiculing it, making fun of anti-aging. And... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I've been right. anti-aging for 17 months now. I love it. Yeah. And the thing about it is, is that, you know, you got to do things in order to ensure that you're going to have a healthy life. What if I still die at the age of 70? You're going to die in really good shape. I'm going to die in really good shape, right? What if I die at 110 and I'm still in really good shape? Yeah. You know? Probably from bungee jumping or something. Yeah, the the bungee cord will break on me, you know, at 110. <laughs> or it'll it'll stretch my legs off of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> but you know, folks. So thanks for being here with us, uh, Andrea. I'm going to let you close out the call. And 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 if people, if you share this with everybody, get the word out. We're here every Tuesday, same time, same place, right here on uh, Facebook. Yeah, well, thank you, Doc. We appreciate your time and energy to put together these calls so that you can um, share these benefits with others and they can determine what they want to do with their own health. And that's all we're doing is we're just sharing information with you. So join us uh, next Tuesday, same time, same place, live. See you then. All right. Bye. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks, everyone.